Today on Tiki Way Weekly, I explain what happens when you mix and match clock speeds of RAM. This is Tiki Way Weekly. I'm the host, Dave Smith, aka Z Axis, and yes, you may call me that. And of course, you can always find the show notes at tkwayweekly.com slash se3ep18 for today's episode. And today we talk about RAM. RAM comes in all types of sizes, shapes, and types. It's in every device we use. Cell phones, laptops, tablets, towers, anything you want that has a processor requires RAM. They may call this memory for those who don't know. And RAM actually comes in many different types. You've got single-sided, so chips on one side. You got double-sided, chips on both sides. You have the old, old, old SD from my youth. You've got DDR from when I was in high school at the end of it. And then you had DDR2 and DDR3, which is the most recent and commonly used due to the i7 and the Phenom 2. So AMD and Intel. Things you may have already known is they all have notches, which are part of the standard, which allows for the alignment of the RAM and what happens when you mix multiple clock speeds? Well, this is a question some people may ask. Can I mix different clock speeds, different types of RAM and whatever? And the answer will come down to, let's focus on, is it the same type? Is it DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, or SD? If it is all the same type, so let's take DDR3, which is the standard, then yes, you can plug them all in the motherboard and it's absolutely safe. Yeah, but different clock speeds, what happens? Well, you have 1066 megahertz, 1333 megahertz, and 1600 megahertz. So that is economy, standard, and high performance. That's basically how you get your RAM. You have the choice of the lowest quality and speed to the highest quality and speed. Well, if you were to mix one of each of the different speeds, even if they had multiple features, they would all work. Your computer would boast, you you would be able to load your operating system, go online, do your work, maybe play some video games. Depends what you want to do. So what's happening? Well, the motherboard combined with the processor actually only uses universally accessible features and speed from all of the RAM. So even if you had a 1066 megahertz economy bar of RAM and a standard 1333 megahertz bar of RAM with a 1600 megahertz bar of RAM upgradable up to 1800 overclock with ECC while all the other RAMs were non-ECC, all you have access to is the 1066 megahertz stream because that's all that's universal for the motherboard to access. So the question isn't so much, can I use it? But do you really want to? So you go to a computer store and you have 1066 megahertz RAM in your computer and you buy another bar of RAM to upgrade the total memory. But if you're looking to upgrade the total speed, you have to remove the RAM that's slower in your computer and upgrade with faster RAM in order to get a speed benefit. But all, if all you're looking for is a memory benefit, so to use less virtual memory on your hard drives, this doesn't matter to you. So for those that are gamer that do high intensity tasks that require a lot of RAM and speed, changing out all the RAM at the same time for higher speed RAM with better features is more important to them more than the Facebook user who only wants to add more memory to be able to play his flash game. So does it matter that you have different features with different speeds? No as long as it's all of the same type. So ultimately the choice is yours. Do you want more RAM or more speed? That will decide how much budget you have and what you're gonna do. My suggestion is go 1600 in the first place with the lower capacity RAM and upgrade to higher capacity RAM later down the line and you'll get the performance speed that you want the whole time and never have to throw away any RAM. 
Next week, I talk about hard drives, their technologies, what smart is, and why you should be thinking about changing your hard drives more often. Remember to like this episode if you liked it, share if you think someone else can benefit from it, and subscribe if you wish to learn more. If you head over to tqaweekly.com, you can learn how to subscribe to my newsletter, subscribe to my show, whether you want to go on iTunes, FeedBurner, Miro, Blip.tv, and of course, YouTube. Stay safe and online and have a great day. Goodbye.